coming up. Most importantly, it's my birthday. And if y'all don't know, <laughs> right before February 16th, we got another big holiday, Valentine's Day. And I got one of the sweetest people in Cleveland to come and put y'all all the way together. From the top of your hair to your clothes to that bend it over and point your toe pose. I got somebody good for you tonight. Y'all, I got Crystal, the owner of Add True, Qu True Cream. <laughs> my bad, y'all. I brag them again on my nerves all day. Sure, anyway. I'm already gone, y'all. Sorry. It was gone. definitely <laughs> to you. 4425 Mayfield. Make sure y'all come and get y'all some bottles. <laughs> Either way, I got Crystal here today, and she is going to be telling us all about different ways that she stays successful. She's been yes. uh, moving throughout the city to help people be their best selves. Whether you're looking good, feeling good. Um, and just all around a better person. So, without further ado, welcome Crystal from the Club. Thank, Thank you for pulling you. up. Well, Thank you for she, she, she did a great job, didn't she? Yeah, she did a great job. Hold on, hold on. Can I do this? Yes. Come on. <laughs> I gotta just ignore her on top. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna have some words after the show about Brandon's little button that I'm trying to pull away. But I could never do as much justice to you as you could for yourself. So introduce yourself to the people. Let us know who you are. I'm Crystal. My Instagram name is True Cream. I'm from Akron, not Cleveland, but I want everybody to know me from Cleveland. Okay. And um, yep, I teach yoga. I do hair. I have eleven eleven clothing, and um, I'm just happy to be here. I'm happy that you are here, and thank you for clarifying. So, y'all know we are big on Spotlight. Now, in Cleveland and Cleveland adjacent, just like y'all claim LeBron, we're going to yeah. claim Crystal yeah. too, okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but let's talk about how this all started, because what I love about your businesses is they actually kind of go together. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people yeah. be serial entrepreneurs, and they got one thing going, and then tomorrow they got something else, and it's like, did it yeah. not work over there? Yeah. This actually is like making a well-rounded individual yeah. when they come and see you. Mm -hmm. So how did you even get started? So uh, when I was younger, I just used to like doing my hair, my sister's hair, and like all that type of stuff, and I love extensions. So um, I just decided to go to hair school, and then I always wanted to be an entrepreneur because my dad. And um, really, that's really how it started. And then I started getting into health, and then I ventured off into yoga. And then yoga took off, and then I started, like, during the pandemic, that's when I came out with the 11 because we couldn't do hair. Yeah. So I was just trying to think of other ways to uh, create income coming in. And for those who don't know uh, the specialty of 1111, mm -hmm. can you actually break down the type of clothing 1111 is and the type of woman it's for? Yep, um, it's athletic leisure wear. Um, you can wear it in the gym, you can wear it at home, you can wear it out to the club. Either way, you feel feeling good, you feel feeling sexy, you sexy at the gym, at the club, at the grocery store, wherever you want. All around. All around. Okay. Yep, okay. all good. around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man's line coming down soon. I'll be soon. Okay. Yeah, okay. Soon. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Okay. I appreciate that. Yeah. It's gonna be a fit man's yeah. line. <laughs> First of all, I, I can. My my resolution this year is to is to be out here with my shirt off this summer, so don't try to come. Oh God. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, shout out. Don't shout worry, out. we will I, not film that. <laughs> yeah. I'd be a first model, you know what I'm saying? So we're we'll going on that. We'll talk about that at the show. <laughs> um, but I think that, that like I said, I think that's dope, and I think. Uh, one of the things I do want to touch on, and by the way, thank you for shouting out Akron, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like you said, you know, LeBron, James, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. That's people throughout Akron, that's all they think about. But it's, hmm. <laughs> oh, do it? I'm like, I'm like, already like, dang. <laughs> Until you want to, you every single time. Every single time. Yes, yes. yes. no, but uh, so I just know Akron, like I said, they don't get enough, uh, they don't get enough love, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yes. I, want, I, want, I thank you for uh, shouting out your, your hometown. Yes. But uh, one thing I do want to touch on is that the fact that you are an entrepreneur, but you're also a mom. Mm -hmm. So one thing I want to uh, talk to you about is how you balance that. Because I know a lot of us, um, especially, you know, us who even have multiple businesses, how do you find time to balance motherhood, uh, pursuing your dreams, and so on and so forth? Um, I guess it really comes naturally, honestly. Like, um, it's like what you want. So I want to um, be there for my children and then I want to be able to go out and work out or it's just what you want, you know, mm -hmm. how, you know, the things that you want in life. And mm -hmm. I don't know. 
like I think that's just really what really pushes me the most. Mm. You know, it's just not being having an average life. Oh, that's a fact. I, I get that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, for me, because like I know for me. Between this podcast, between your work, yeah, you be tired. I, I yeah. listen. I, I don't sleep. You work the mess out of breath. Yeah, I'm about to say, I don't sleep. I'm about to say I don't know. You don't know what sleep is. So, yeah. uh, shout out to you. Uh, yeah. For even balance it out, because I know a lot of people. You know, say they drive themselves. I'm not saying drive themselves to the grave, but I think that we have to understand the balance between pursuing your dreams, but also find time to rest, mm-hmm. find time to do something outside yeah. of your job or yeah. outside of your uh, business that. Yeah helps you stay creative. What's mm-hmm. that what's that saying? You know it. No, okay. Uh, uh, you got I would have made one up. But I didn't want to say what he actually was thinking. I but uh, they, they say you have three things. Something that keeps you motivated, something that keeps you creative, and something that keeps you um Balance. Exactly. There we go. See you knew you knew the same she she didn't know. She didn't know. She's a yoga like she specializes in bad things. That's her thing. Yeah. yeah. But you but you know you know need those yeah. three things in life. So definitely. Um, so. And sometimes it's hard for me to rest too. So like I have to be like, okay, it's okay to rest. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. you want to keep going, keep going, because you got this goal and you feel like you're not at that point yet, and you just constantly running, constantly running. Yeah. And then on that downtime, it's like it's all right. Just chill. Just chill. Just oh. chill. Everything gonna be all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm like chill, bro. Yeah. Chill. Yeah. Chill. <laughs> Time <to> chill. <laughs> Okay, so we have a question. How did you transfer from something you'd like to do to something that you get paid to do, uh, especially when it comes to um, the hair and uh, the yoga? Because you both said, both of them, you basically said, I started off because this is something I enjoy doing. Mm-hmm. And now you get paid to do both or, you know, to do it for others or teach people how to do it for themselves. So how did that question. work? <laughs> what you say? This is so my question. I, I told her earlier on the phone, like, I'm gonna ask you that. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> so the yoga stuff, um, people will always just ask me, like, can you teach me? Can you teach me? Or can you teach a class? Can you teach, teach a class? And I had only started yoga just for myself, you know, just trying to find that higher purpose or whatever. Mm. And so um, I was just like, okay, well, maybe I can teach classes. Let me try to go to. Um, to class or yoga school or whatever and get my certification and so um i end up doing that and then after that it was just like wow yeah <laughs> and speaking of which so um you have an event coming up mm-hmm. yeah pretty Fe- soon february 19th is at unknown akron um the clothing store the mm-hmm. clothing and shoe store on south main street it's at 11 a.m to 1 p.m we practice for an hour and then we drink some wine maybe we can take some of these oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yes, absolutely yes yes, yes. The best wine the best wine around yeah because like, it, it, it got me like really sweaty <laughs> <laughs> I should have took a few sips so I got an idea, business idea for you. We'll work on the details about partnership later along, right? Uh-huh. So I know we as men, mm-hmm. and uh, my girl, she do all the time. She'll tell me about some stuff about hair, but I don't know nothing about that. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Don't send me to the hair store. Yeah. Don't ask about the bundle. Don't ask me about none of that because I'll come back with barrettes <laughs> and, 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 and hair grease. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm saying, what? <laughs> so educating us men, I think that's a great idea, by the way. Mm-hmm. And how my question to you is when it comes to business models, because obviously you created one with your business or whatnot, what, what was the idea behind you going into hair as far as differing yourself from other people? Um, what made me go into hair? Well, 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 so I know for me, as a, as a race agent, I always tell myself I mm-hmm. want to be different from other agents. I'm not going to go up there with my three piece Steve Harvey student on when I meet you. I'm going to go in there like this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jordan's in the hood. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Same education, same knowledge, but just come and see you as I am. Mm-hmm. And that's what I think is what makes you different from other people and whatnot. What would you say makes you different from other people who are doing yoga, who are in the hair industry or whatnot? Mm, I don't really think it's more of. Mm. and um, just easy to like communicate with people and yeah. you know like people just being comfortable with me yeah. so and just being myself so yeah, that's, that's what I think <laughs> no 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 that's what's up that's what's up because I, I know like you know uh because 
like how can I say this? I know for us as real estate agents, I feel the court outside. Mm -hmm. Damn, I know real estate agent. You know, <laughs> you know all that good yeah. stuff. And I think that's that's what makes a person good at what they do when they separate themselves from other people. Mm -hmm. you know? Like Marquito yeah. here, you know yeah. what I'm saying? She has a great person. See, see, yeah. She I don't like you. You can like you can really co-host. Like, this is really good. Yeah. Don't, 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 see, I was about to say, I have a great teammate <laughs> in Brandon. Because yeah. as y'all know, he holds it down and does pretty much everything. I just show up sometimes, not on time, but we get the job. <laughs> we <laughs> that tickling? No, it's on camera. We got it on camera, too. We have it on camera. He halfway decent. Yeah. Halfway. You have a great person. Thank you, thank yeah. you. Sure. I, what I like about you, and I think what I um, what I loved about meeting you, Crystal, was the fact that you have just a very calm energy about you, and you have this like gift to speak so well that people listen, but listen so well that people want to speak to you, and that might be like one of the better things that attracts people to you naturally. Yeah. Yeah. Have you always had that gift? Is that something you had to develop? I think I always had. Like, because that's what people tell me, and I'm like, oh, okay, you know, like not being <laughs> totally aware of it, but I, I know that I am calm, and people just always come and talk to me. <laughs> now, for somebody who need to calm down, <laughs> what are some uh, different things that you would suggest for us who are um, a little more uh, out there, and we are looking to calm and center ourselves? Um, and obviously we have like the yoga poses and things like that, but there, or do you feel like there's some life skills or different personality traits that would help with that? Um, I would say meditating and just praying. <laughs> praying before you like take action, you can go off or anything, you know, like, yeah. but just, uh, I just, just meditating. <laughs> so no, for me, when I meditate, I fall asleep. Do you? Yeah, I'm just asleep. <laughs> um, I really do. So what, <laughs> just as a person like myself. But I, think I that's know you're serious, too. too. Because <laughs> when, I, when I first started, I would fall asleep in class. And I'd be like, wake up, and everybody just stay. Yeah. And I'm asleep. So, like, it took a minute to get there. So mm. I think that's okay. Like That that one pregnant Jesus, I'm like, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Am I just going everywhere? Yeah, it really is. Really, 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 really. So I, I get better. They, 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 uh, Pat said I don't be focused enough when I'm praying. You know what I mean? So they got to focus a little bit more when I'm meditating too. So no, so yeah. I got I got a question. Mm -hmm. All right, so what do you think separates someone who who just good at hair to be an actual uh, hairstylist? Um, I think being good at hair is actually like listening to your clients mm -hmm. and like. Mm. Not just like just you just they just in your chair and you just trying to hurry up and get them out and mm -hmm. just take their money. Mm. So just actually just listening. Kind of like my barber, he acts as my psychologist slash barber. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I tend to, you know what I'm saying, get my problems out there, you know what I'm saying? It's, he like, like he, he's actually like, uh, what they call it? Um, a person who I bounce my ideas off. He's like, no, that ain't gonna work. Okay, appreciate yeah. it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I kind of pay for friendship with a haircut from a barber, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. shout, shout out to the, yeah. to the hairstylists yeah. and the barbers of the world, because y'all. we do be therapists. Absolutely, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? Hold on one time, one time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be serious from face one time. You gotta keep secrets. You gotta keep secrets? Oh, I got, I got, you know, I know, so now, now I'm about to turn up because the wine, I know, I, I see you, yeah, it's got you. Uh, so, I, we, we gotta say no names or whatnot. Tell me about a time where you was like, oh, no, I'm about to quit. <laughs> or I'm about to stop, <laughs> stop doing hair. Oh, my God. Um, dang. We gotta say Which no names. Time? Don't worry. They, 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 they gonna see this. Don't worry. Oh about it. They yeah. might see it. Never mind. Let me leave. No, <laughs> no it's, it's one time. Yeah. Guy, actually, Pictures got sent to jail. Oh man! Like, <laughs> I started out of here. Are you serious? He got yes. a cigarette on. He took my picture, sent me to, to him in jail, and he came to my salon, stopped playing, and asked for me, and was just like, "Yeah, such and such. Where is she at?" And I just kept working. Out. <laughs> <laughs> and I kept looking up. Nobody was like making no eye contact oh, with you or nothing. Oh. But my friend was there, and she had her, um, she was uh, licensed to carry. 
Oh, that's wild. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> you win. You win that one. Yeah, <laughs> I'm allowed. I'm able to top that joint. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's, that's okay. Crazy. Okay. 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 Some crazy stuff going on. I said, dang, listen. I'm about to say, I'm about to make a whole super five episode about the yeah. Washington Slimes or whatnot. Yeah, no, seriously. <laughs> yeah. We used to always say, Yeah, I'm sure y'all just saying some crazy yeah, stuff. Crazy. That'd be dope. Crazy. Don't say my idea, by the way. I'm, 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 I'm gonna do my joint right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, hats off. <laughs> <laughs> Don't try to say like we ain't going 50-50 on that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, <laughs> you get a quarter or something. You know what I'm saying? What? No, I'm swearing. Retarded. Yeah. Next, <laughs> what, you know what I do want to know? Because for for the ones like me, uh -huh. I can't even touch my toes. No. But <laughs> how do you man <laughs> it wasn't that funny because it's serious. <laughs> how do you manage clients who uh struggle with flexibility? Um, I just tell them, you know, you are where you are at this moment. Uh, that's and just bless your heart. Keep working on it, keep working on it. Cause like I've kind of always been flexible because I was a cheerleader and stuff. Okay. But like over the years, I've noticed my body changing and like, oh, I can do that. Like I couldn't do that a few years ago, but I can do it now. And I think mm. it's just repetition. Just keep doing it and keep doing it and your body just start expanding. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so you get up every morning. I'm about to say, yeah, because definitely for us men, because like, I know a few men who do yoga, and I'm like, bro, how do you do that? Like, man. But, so I like, what, what's the one pose where you doing? I can't do it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, listen, I, 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 I can't do it. <laughs> no, 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 I was about to say, and I'm like, bro, how do you do all that? And they, he said the same thing. He said, just keep at it or whatnot. Yeah, just keep doing it. And I think a lot of men should start doing yoga. Like, you saw, you said you start a whole movement, you know what I'm saying? Yoga movement. Yeah, yes. I would love to see that. Especially black men. Because mm. there's a lot of Caucasians that do it, but I don't barely see that many black men doing it. So part two, we're going to have like this whole thing, yoga movement. Yes, that would be dope. And can you hit on, because we do have a lot of black male viewership, mm -hmm. some of the benefits, I mean, for, I guess this would be for anybody uh, doing yoga, but mm -hmm. because we're, we are trying to uh, talk more about males in our community uh, being more expressive when it comes to yoga, what are some of the benefits that they can see mentally or physically? Yes, calmness, um, just being able to respond different to different situations mm -hmm. and stuff. And, um, and just mobility. Like, like you know, will it actually help their back pain? Yes, oh, yes. Swear. especially like when you start to get older, you still want to be able to move and like move yeah. certain ways. And then when you have grandkids, you gotta wear all chase on it. <laughs> or, you know, you go through that midlife crisis. Yes, yes. You can't chase the young girls, you can't chase them. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> what else? Oh, the fact that you are a mother and you were a, and a grandma. And a grandma. And you were actually able to create a, another source of income in the pandemic, especially mm -hmm. online. What was that process like for you, transitioning from I see my people every day, I see my clients every day, to we at home and I still got to figure out yes. business? It was crazy. Like, it was really crazy because it was like I, own, I still owned the salon and all those bills were still coming in, you know, mm. and we couldn't go to work. So, like, I was just in my basement. I had my vision board and I just knew and I'm like, what else am I good at? What else could? harder to source a vendor since you couldn't fly out directly to them and just go grab a sample or whatever like how was that did they have to just ship you stuff or yeah. you kind of just trust it like this yeah. thing like it's gonna be good quality um i just had to just trust and then i tried it on i did some yoga moves and it worked out in it uh washed it see how it was after that and then that's how i found our vendor mm. that's it right there 
<laughs> How many minutes would you say you had to go through before you found the right one? Because I know for me, like, I want to have a, a hoodie line. Mm -hmm. And, like, like the material like this, like, this is dope. Because, by the way, you got to we'll talk afterwards. Because we got to talk to Chris. Because, like, this is his. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. it? Yes, this is his. And, like, shout out to you, Chris. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, no. But I know, you know what I'm saying? It's hard to find that. Because this, I love the, the cloth. I love the fact that the insignia is right there. It, it's not fading every time I wash it. So, I. Oh, I am black history too. I am. Okay. You know? yeah, like <laughs> definitely history. Yeah. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> uh, I know. You know what I'm saying. I, I just know for me, I, I am fearful that I will mess around and order something and it will be the wrong material or it'll be itchy mm -hmm. or it'll be like. Yeah, and you know. that happens too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So how many times would you say this. you got to go through before you find the right one? I want to say probably it's like ten. Mm -hmm. And we said we each time you got you got more knowledgeable on which ones to pick. Yeah, I got you. Exactly. Cause you know your guru would tell you, you know, what I'm saying go on uh, what's the Alibaba, mm -hmm. and you'd be like, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you might involve. Yeah, no, guru. No. Yeah, you know, but for real, like you can go on there, and I've I've got some pieces from vendors on there too. Like mm -hmm. I didn't get any of that stuff, but I got pieces from vendors on there too. And let me ask you, do you curse them out when they when you get the wrong stuff, or do you just like, all right, it's, it's, I'll take the L on that? I took the L. You know she called. Yeah. Oh, no, I'll be like, hey, I, I'm about to say something racist. Let me stop. <laughs> she just sat next to you and ain't. It's the two you want. Yes. It's the two you want. Yeah. 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 It's like, the one. Bro, you it's the one. Stop. It's the one. 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 Okay. You talking about the past? Mm -hmm. And let me ask you this. When you were in high school, you were like, let me let me ask you. In high school, were you like I always want to be an entrepreneur, or did you have other goals that you want to do? I've always wanted to be an entrepreneur. Mm. I always I like to, I love real estate too. Okay. So uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. I love real estate, and just from my dad, like he just he he's a hustler, so mm -hmm. I kind of like watched everything. And I'm yeah. Like, mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's I never that's where it came from. Yeah, that's, that's exactly where it came from. <laughs> I got you. So we talk yeah. about the past, talk about the present, and talk about the future. Mm -hmm. uh, so what do you see yourself doing coming up as far as business ventures of that, of that sort? Okay, so I just want to keep on like teaching yoga classes, and today just get real big. I don't know if y'all familiar with the brand Aloe or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not here. So yeah, so they. Um, yeah, yeah, and they host these events and stuff. Like, it's really big. So mm. that's what I aspire to be. Okay. We gotta get in shape so we can pull up for real. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I gotta so work pull on. Pull up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not no. that. She's not gonna be teaching no. fucking chill. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. That's not. Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm about to get out to the wire, and you like, like these are these are these are our stable questions or whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I know we don't tweak a little bit because you're from Akron, uh -huh. but Akron is Cleveland adjacent, by the way. So mm -hmm. let me ask you this: so, and that's, I, I guess it's a great time to ask that question. Do you feel like because I'm guessing you travel from Akron to Cleveland quite often? Mm -hmm. Do you feel like a whole different atmosphere from Akron from Cleveland, or you feel like it's all the same? I feel like it's a different atmosphere. Really? Yeah, out of here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Big I don't think feeling like going to Akron is like. Just, I mean, it's 40 minutes, but it's down the street. I feel really? like it's so different. Y'all got so many different opportunities. And like, what? Yes. <laughs> I love so much stuff, right? <laughs> like, so much stuff to do. Like, we just be like bored. It's really nothing to do there. Mm. So, let me ask you one kind of support each other. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel like the support is there in Akron? Or do you feel like you give more support up, there, up, up here in Cleveland? I feel like a lot of people have supported me throughout my journey. Mm. And, but I hear. But I feel like what you put out is what you get back. Come on. You just answer yeah. his. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. That's yeah. the one time. Come on, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, this is going to be thrown in the garbage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm wearing it in my shirt. Sure. I'm going to be doing this. <laughs> this will be thrown in the trash pretty soon. This, this annoys me like none other. <laughs> But, so his next question was going to be, what are some things you think could change mm -hmm. so that that stigma can change? So you've yes. already answered that question. Yes. Usually around this time, we also ask, um, what are three things you want somebody to grab from your episode? Because you have kind of hit on the, we went all around the block and back. Mm -hmm. But what are three things you want someone watching to get from this episode? From this episode, okay. It's going to be so, part two. 
Okay. Part two. Part two. Yeah, part okay, two. Okay, so Part is gonna be behind the camera. I'm gonna work on stretching and touching my toes. <laughs> I'm, I'm already here. Do you see? Do you not see this? Yes. Yes. Uh, you got it. It looks like somebody strangled you. <laughs> trying to get out of head. Like, <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> uh, so my three things is like just showing up, um, meditating. Don't fall asleep. Um, you know, don't fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> trying to reach your higher self, showing up as your higher self. And, um, you know, what you get, what you put out is what you get back. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's my three things. And legacy, because you do have a few generations under you, or a couple generations under you now, mm -hmm. what would you like your legacy to be? Like, when you leave here, whether it be for your business or your personal, mm -hmm. what would you like people to remember you for? First of all, they better continue my yoga. Continue my yoga. Um, but just like being able to um, film to service other people. Mm. You know, and just people remember me for my kindness and the things that I've done. <laughs> I like that. That's actually a good legacy to leave behind. You taking notes? Listen, listen, I, I, I'm i still a whole vibe, you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm stuff, That's why you showed up in green. Yep. Usually you try to be my little twins. Yep. My little yeah, I like crystal. What you See how quick they change up on y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that's good stuff. Thank you. 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 We might have glossed over and not hit on that you definitely want to say before we close out. Um, let me think, let me think. Mm, so bundles are by Shoe Cream. <laughs> yes, by the way. Everything in the show notes. Yeah, yes. it all out. Yes, True Cream. Yes. Luxury hair extensions, 1111 Avenue for your fitness wear. And um, just come to yoga. You know, by the way, guys, all this video show notes her Instagram, where you reach her at, where you can buy some bundles at. You know what I'm saying? Dudes, you want to get your beard, the bundles in it. Yeah, because yeah, Brandon needs some some type of. Please. <laughs> First of all, man, don't, don't come from my beard. Cut the left off and just plug and play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're funny. You're funny. By the way, Chris, Crystal is episode 90. Three. Oh, right. Yes. Right. Three. Oh, yeah. On our road to 100. Road to 100. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So, so Shazzy, experience. Now you're now you alumni now. You're part of your gang gang yes. now. Yes, yes. You're gang gang now, okay? That's wine. <laughs> Shout out to, to you, wine. Trying, I was trying to wait to drink it because it got me sweating. <laughs> the light and stuff. And have, like, have added. As soon as we turn on. <laughs> <laughs> turn up. But it, it is really good. It tastes really good. Oh yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. And shout city. out to Nakia. She's our co-host, as you guys know. She's handling all type of business throughout the city, so we had to miss her today. I'm stuck with Brandon. But um, You're welcome. At least thank you, Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Crystal. Put pulling up on us. Good together. <laughs> we all know. Either way, um, that sounds like you got anything else before I close up? No, oh yes, no. I definitely do want to say, hey guys, March 5th, no, March 12th, March 12th. Yes, yes. we networking. We will be at the Ford Bistro. You going to be there, Chris? You going to be there networking with us? I know. will. Yes, ma'am. I'll come. So, Speed Networking is our signature event. If you guys don't know, it's perfect for the uh, introverted entrepreneurs like Brendan myself and Crystal. Uh, what's great about it, we will be located at the Ford Bistro. The address is yeah. 4450 Mayfield Road, South Euclid, Ohio, 44121. Again, that's Sunday, March 12th. And we're going to keep it regular. So I'm across from you, you're across from me. They're one-on-one -on -one interactions. A minute to talk about me, minutes to talk about you. Two minutes to see if we actually vibe with each other or if I know somebody who can use you. Absolutely. Either way it goes, it's perfect for you guys to practice your pitch, to come to a networking event full of 
absolutely dope entrepreneurs in Cleveland and surrounding areas. And it keeps you from going to those typical boring cornball networking events that people are doing around the city where you just, you know, has not your business card all willy nilly or just sharing in your <laughs> same social circle. That's not shady. I'm trying to shed light on real entrepreneurs here. That's what we do at the Pull Up Experience. Either way it goes, we want you guys to come pull up and experience some of the amazing people that we introduce you guys to week after week after week. Absolutely. Again, that's March 12th. Add it to your Apple calendar right now. That's a Sunday. We will be at the 4B Stroll, 4450 Mayfield Road, South Ohio, 44121. The time is going to be 2 p.m. So show up at 1.30 because then we actually can get started at 2. Y'all know how that goes. And right after we're done, it's Sunday. That's Soul Food Brunch. And we get the karaoke, karaoke. pop oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, I will hold Brandon away from the mic. And he will not have his little buzzer. We're just going to do our regular. We're just going to call four at four minutes. Don't worry, that will be gone by March, I promise. <laughs> What else? I think you did a great job of closing us out, though. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, guys, we are on episode 93. 93. Thank you for joining yeah. us on our road to 100. Yes. We can't wait to see y'all for our 100th episode. We are so glad that you guys tuned in here. We hope you got some amazing things from it. And if nothing else, center yourself and go pull up uh, in Akron. Yes. Like she said, February 18th. 19th. 19th yep. at... 11 a.m. 11 a.m. They will be on South Main Street. Come show up to the yoga event. Yeah. All right, y'all. That's all we got for today. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye. Peace. Bye.